Hello, Girl Scouts of Greater South Texas. I hope you're ready for some more virtual fun. Let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. If you don't know the promise or law, you can repeat after me. But if you do know it, definitely say it with me. So let's raise our right hand, pinky goes down, thumb goes over our pinky, and we'll do the Girl Scout Promise first. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. Now let's say the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do. And to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Now let's have some fun! As Girl Scouts, we love to explore both indoors and outdoors. The Brownies Bugs Batch will help you get to know the smallest residents of our natural world. Bugs do so much to help us. And with the help of our wonderful program partners, we're gonna get to know more about these little creatures that do so much. Now the Bugs Badge is for brownies, but don't let that stop you from tuning in and learning about bugs yourself. Or check out the Legacy Badge for your level, like the Junior's Flowers Badge, or the Cadet's Trees Badge, or the Senior Sky Badge, or the Ambassador Water Badge. Take the time to learn about the natural world on your own. In this unit, you will learn all about insects and how to draw your own insect through a bug poster activity. What is a bug? Did you know what we commonly call bugs aren't really bugs? These butterflies and ants are actually not bugs, but they are insects. While many people use the term bug and insect interchangeably, they actually aren't the same thing. Ants, grasshoppers, bees, and flies are all insects. A bug is a certain type of insect, therefore all bugs are insects, but not all insects are bugs. True bugs belong to an order of insects called Hemoptera. This order of insects consists of 50,000 to 80,000 species. It includes species such as cicadas, aphids, leafhoppers, and stink bugs. The main difference between bugs and insects are that true bugs have a stylet, a mouth shaped like a straw, that they use to suck juices from plants or even from other animals. What is an insect? What are the characteristics of an insect? First of all, they have an exoskeleton, a rigid external covering for the body common in invertebrate animals or animals without a backbone. This exoskeleton provides both support and protection. They also have antenna located on their head, six legs, two pairs of wings, and three main body parts a head, thorax, and abdomen. The first main body part of a insect is the head, which contains antenna, eyes, and the mouth. We're going to start with the antenna. Antenna are found in all shapes and sizes, sometimes referred to as the feelers. They are used as a sensory organ and help with sensing touch, air motion, heat, vibration, also known as sound, and especially smell or taste. The head of an insect also has eyes. Insects have two compound eyes, which are made up of lots of tiny units. Most people think that compound eyes make them see things in multiples, like a kaleidoscope. But in reality, all those units of the compound eye work together to make one image. However, this image does not have the resolution or degree of focus that the human eye does. These eyes are very good at detecting motion which allows the insect to avoid predators. 
The head of an insect also contain its mouth parts. Insects have external or outside mouth parts. Just like antenna, the mouths on a insect can vary from insect to insect. Some insects like ants have large, strong jaws for chewing. Butterflies have a mouth part called a proboscis that acts like a straw. The second part of an insect is the thorax. The thorax is where the legs and wings are attached, and it also houses part of the digestive system. There are many types of legs that insects have for running, jumping, and grasping. Insect wings are attached to the thorax. Most insects have two pairs of wings. Just like with legs and mouth parts, insect wings vary from insect to insect. Perhaps the most noticeable wings are from the butterfly and moth. These wings are scaly, often have intricate patterns and bright colors, often used to scare predators. For example, in this close-up image of a butterfly wing, the large dot resembles a big eye, which can scare or confuse predators. Other bugs, like beetles, have a hard outer covering as one of their sets of wings that protects their soft flying wings. Check out the slow motion image of a ladybug opening its hard outer wing cover to use its flying wings. Now let's test your knowledge on insects with a fun insect quiz. Which of these pictures is an insect? If you chose the ant, you are correct. The tick and spider are arachnids and have eight legs. The roly-poly is actually a crustacean and is more closely related to a crab than an insect. Hello! We're going to go over today on how to draw your own insect poster using some of the concepts that we have previously discussed. Now we have provided a couple of pictures that give you some basic anatomical features of some of these insects. We have the praying mantis, a dragonfly, a ladybug, a fly, an ant, and a bee. Now let's start with the head. For the insect that you've chosen, does it have large antenna or small antenna? Are the antennas smooth? Are they rough? Or are they fuzzy like in a moth? What about the legs? Are the legs more of a running leg like a cockroach or a beetle? jumping leg as in a grasshopper or a grasping leg like a praying mantis. What about the wings? Are the wings large colorful wings like a moth or butterfly or are they smaller wings that you might see in a ladybug or a fly? What about the abdomen? Is the abdomen a long abdomen like you might see in a dragonfly or a short squatty abdomen you might see in a fly or a ladybug? Now I'm going to share two of my insect posters with you. My first insect poster is of a dragonfly. Now on this dragonfly image, you can see the major features I have labeled. The antenna, the compound eyes, the large wings, the long skinny abdomen, and the short thorax. The next one that I have done is of a praying mantis. And just like with the dragonfly, I've labeled all the major features of this praying mantis. One thing I did do was I actually went online and I looked for some close-up images of praying mantis. I really wanted to detail those grasping legs, which are not really shown in the tutorial. From the images I found online, I was able to find the right colors of a praying mantis, as well as some of the more detailed, intricate features such as these grasping legs. Wow, that was a lot of interesting information. I can't wait to learn more about bugs with you. We'll see you soon, sisters.